Hello and welcome to another video from me, Box of Demons, and some VTOL VR, but this video is something a little bit different. I jumped on the Discord channel, and lo and behold, somebody approached me and said, Would you like some mentoring? Would you like some training? Would you like to get your boots on the... Well, not on the ground, obviously, but up in the air, and learn a little bit more about how to fly an aircraft some of the fundamentals of the game and you will certainly get more enjoyment out of it and they jumped over onto this new discord called the quantify fighter weapon school for VTOL yes this actually exists and all you gotta do is jump in there say hello and you can jump into a mentoring session where somebody will have a one-to-one -one with you go through a text document on the weapons the flight systems the hood and things like that and they'll also jump into the multiplayer now that it's out the co-op mode and they will get their boots on the runway with you go up into the air and they will mentor you through how to use the weapon systems and a lot of the instruments in there that you're not quite sure about and this was absolutely fantastic because I learned more in the hour or so with this guy who's incidentally his name is called Spamram Freedom Plaza so big up to him and this next video is going to be unedited by me and this will give you an idea of what it's like to try and learn some of the instrumentation in the FA-26B, the WASP. So I hope you enjoy this video, a massive salute to him and if people show enough interest I will record the other training sessions that he's offered to go through with me including the GBU bombs and the air to ground and the full system as well including carrier stuff and the more complicated side of this VR simulation. So enough waffle, let's get in the cockpit, hope you enjoy this. Welcome to VTOL and welcome to a training session from Spamram Freedom Plaza. In VTOL VR uh, and I can just you. click join on you. Okay. Okay, so for the actual loadout of what we're gonna get, uh, it should be empty for you, if not yeah. make sure it's empty. It's empty, yeah. So, uh, you're gonna click on external fuel center and get the 2200 liter fuel drop tank. We're just gonna need this because we're gonna be in the sky for a while. X fuel 22. Equipped. Okay, good. And then you click on cannon and equip the Vulcan. Cannon, uh, Vulcan. Yep. Okay. And then on, uh, you can turn on symmetry for this and yep. click on E7. And you're gonna have to scroll down a little bit. Uh, get um, one GBU 38. That's our GPS guided bomb. GPU 38. Yep. Okay. And then make make uh, check the symmetry is still on. Click on E6 and get a GBU 12. E6 GBU 12. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. Then you click on E8 and get an AGM 65. E8. Uh, what, uh, 60, AGM 65. Yeah. 65, correct. And um, click on E9 and get a Hydra 70. Yep. Okay, and. Nothing for ah, okay. E. Okay, and then you click on E10, E10, and get a Mark 82. Uh, MK82. Mark 82, yep. Okay, and then in the top right it says EXT sensor. For this aircraft, we actually have to equip the targeting pod. It's not there by default. TGP-1. So you one. just click. Yep, yep. TGP-1 and equip that. And we are ready for flight, I believe. We're just going to be practicing air-to-ground weapons right now. Okay. And guns. So if I'm just going to save that, save as new, I'll put that as training. Yep, perfect. Okay, and then click launch. Uh... Back. Launch. Launch day. Alright, and you. Hmm? Launch day or, or night? Uh, day. Done it. On your right, there's a main battery. Turn that on. Where are you? Hmm? I am in a hangar to the left of you. Ah, right, okay. Yep, main battery. Yep. Main battery, then close the canopy. It The effect of the canopy closing is amazing. You closed it? Yeah, closed it. Okay, and now this is the exact same as the first plane. Get your APU going, and yep. while that's spooling up, you can start up your um, multifunction displays. I would suggest getting um, fuel on the small one on the right and RWR on the small one on the left. And then on the big one on the right, I'd suggest getting your navigation display, which is nav. Yeah, nav on the left. On the right-hand side, what do we want? Which one? 
Um, nothing for now. Uh, you can put a scam there if you want. Okay. Now that the uh, APU is spooled up, we can start both of our engines at the same time. You don't have to wait for both. While that's going, uh, check your left and put the flaps down to one, and get your nav lights, strobe lights, interior lights, instrument lights, and landing lights on. Everything. And HUD and HMCS on as well. Yep. Tell me when you're done. Okay, and then you can turn off the APU and cover all of those switches. All right, and we are ready for takeoff. Let's go ahead and attach you to the runway. You can just follow me. You'll see me coming out of the hangar soon. The throttle is different in that you move it forward, not up in this plane. You see me? Uh, Hold up, I'm going to go in yet. front of you. Me, shouldn't, I see, shouldn't I be able to see you on the uh, nav computer? Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, you're oh, there you go. Yeah. Now you, now you appeared. Yeah, I see you. Nice, nice. All right, just follow me. We're going to go to the uh, runway. This is amazing that they've got multiplayer in it. Oh, yeah. I was uh, I was an original uh, closed alpha tester for this mod, and I can say uh, it was... <laughs> It's uh, it's gone a long way. <laughs> there was a buggy mess at the start. Now, right, if we so. if we play full immersion uh, and some missions at some point in the future, is yep. there a certain speed we should be going on this down this runway? A uh, taxi speed? Um, not necessarily. I just say keep it around twenty knots. Right. Of course, with full immersion, you'd have your call sign and. We'd have a group name, stuff like that. Is there a way as well, just as a just as a general question, yep. um, to get rid of your name above your plane? I think there's a setting for that in mod settings, but it's pretty. Oh, useful. what bother? Oh, yeah, what bother for that now? Yeah. Yep. Okay, and just you're gonna want to get to the left of me and slightly ahead of me because we're gonna I'm gonna form on you. You're, I'm, we're gonna be doing formation flight together. All right, stop. All right. So grab your stick and wash the controls, which means just do pitch, roll, and yaw. I'm going to check if those are responsive. Good. All right. You're looking good. Yep. All right. And now look back for me. I'm going to do the same. Pitch, roll, yep. and yaw. Oh, never mind. There we go. That should be good. Okay. Now, uh, we're, you're going to want to... Um, wait, wait. <laughs> All right. So put your throttle up to mill power, so not afterburners, and do keep I, your brakes on. Keep your brakes on while you're doing this. Do I need VSR on? Uh, not yet. And also, you know the center console, that hmm? radar button. Do I need that on or off? N uh, off for now. Off. Okay. Right. Mid power. Okay. Mid power with. Uh, mill. Mill power. So right up to the line, and hold your brakes. Yep. Okay. Are you doing that? Yep. I see that, and we're going to release on mark, okay? Yep. Three, two, one, mark. I'm just behind you. You shouldn't need to look back. I'll tell you when to start rotating. Are we rotating back to five degrees? Uh, yeah, let's go around five degrees up and start rotating. All right, little. There we go. And gear up, flaps Landing up. Gear. Landing gear. Okay, I put your gear up. Good, good. Alright, and if you look back to your right, I'm right there. You see me? Beautiful. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Now, uh, we're just gonna uh, get our climb up to 10 degrees. Okay. Uh, keep your throttle at mill. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off my uh, headset. Give me one second. Oh, there's okay. the ca carrier down to our left. That's correct. Carrier and the destroyer. Or the cruise, I don't remember what it's called in this game. So, we are going to turn 90 degrees to the left on my mark. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, mark. To the left. And just roll, and okay, you're gonna do a hard turn. I think I'll be able to follow. 90 degrees to the left. Okay. 
You are dropping altitude a little. Yeah, yeah, I'm so. correct it, I'm correct it. There we go. Good, good. Good, good. I I am uh, loose. I've loosened my spread a bit. And, uh, you know what? Let's turn, let's turn so we fly over the island. Okay. So while we're doing this, I'll just explain a little bit more about the 2GP, and then we will turn around and practice some weapons by um, bombing the children's hospital, because nobody cares it's a video <laughs> game. All right, I'd suggest you uh, gain altitude before you crash into the hill there. Good, good. Okay, now you can level off the turn. Good, good. And we're gonna climb at 15 degrees to Angels 10. Whenever I say Angels, that's uh, the altitude times, oh, well, whatever. Angels 10 is 10,000 feet. <laughs> okay. Climb 15 degrees, go. So if I remember rightly, top we have our heading, which is currently 360. Correct. We have on the sp on the left we have our speed is currently around 500 knots. Correct. We're travelling at mark, well, 0.7 of a mark of the speed of sound. Uh, yep, yep. We're, we're pulling roughly 1g or eight, just under 1g, and our yep. angle of attack is three. Correct. Uh, right hand side we have got um, altitude. Altitude. What's the yeah. ASL stand for again? Altitude for uh, relative to sea level. Got you. And V is our uh, vertical speed. Uh, vertical speed. Vertical speed. Okay, so we are going to level off once we pass 20,000 feet. Okay. So watch that. Well, you don't have to be exact. Um, just once you see once you see that passed, um, press the Alt button just under your uh, heads-up display. That's the altitude hold autopilot. Uh. Once we oh, so okay. go ahead and press it now. That's gonna level your altitude off. You might dip down a little bit. That's normal. Now on your empty multifunction display, uh, go ahead and get your targeting pods with this TGP. TGP on. Er, TGP, and then you press power to turn it on. Roger. And you set it as your SOI, and just try moving that around a little bit. Yep, yeah, got it. Yep, pretty cool, right? Yep. If, uh, yeah, alright. I am cur I've currently locked onto you on the targeting pod. So I can <laughs> shoot you for that. Alright, uh, you know, how about we, uh, go to Afterburners for a second just to experience the, uh, rapid acceleration this plane has. Okay. Alright, Afterburners on mark. Three, two, one, mark. Good burners, good burners. Something else I, um, I, I, I have got no idea about either is the uh, the, the chaff system. Ah, uh, okay. Never used it. Don't even know how you activate it. Uh, uh, you can actually try that now. If you just press, um, I don't know what they're called on the index, but they're like circular buttons. They might be like X and Y or something. While you're holding the throttle, um, those will drop some flares. Chaff flares. Yep. Good flares. Good flares. Go yeah. And we've, I've just passed Mach 1.25, so we're going 1.25 times the speed of sound. Can you go in front of me so I can see you let one I can. chaff go? Flares? Yep. Yeah. Oh, where are you? See there that? You yeah, I've got you. Yeah. Okay. I'm slowing down. It's a little jerky. Is that just the connection? Uh, that, yeah, that's just the mod. It's not perfect. <laughs> Sweet. All right, you just passed me. Good crap. So now, if you look at your fuel tab on your small right-hand uh, display, you'll yep. see that external is maybe somewhere around one. How well you'll see around, it's, it's near a thousand. Low. Yeah, one thousand. Yeah. So if you look in between your legs, just uh, by the ejection handle, and click on tanks, and then um, uncover that little button. All right. Yep. And if you press that button, it'll actually drop your fuel tank. You want, pretty cool. You want me to do yeah, that? Yeah, go not? ahead and do that because once it's empty, it's just um, it's just weight, it's just empty weight. 
Yep, good Again, drop, good drop. Could you do it I'll in front of me? Of yeah, so I can yep, see it. Yep. Yep. So we dropped that early then, even though there was a thousand in it, we've just dropped it just so we know what the button is, is that right? Yep. Dropped. Oh, I can see you. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yep. All right, so... Uh, and there I was thinking that was a bomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope, that's just uh, fuel. Right, so internal we've got 7,000 left. That's correct. So Four down at the enough. bottom, all would be all the fuel tanks. Uh, all would be, so basically that's a panel for jettisoning um, really anything you have attached to your aircraft. We just clicked tanks, which would jettison all of the fuel tanks we have. If you click all, that'll jettison literally all of the weapons you have without so that, like arming them. So that, yep. that tank, is, is, we've dropped the fuel tank. Right. Is it, but I take it the plane has fuel, that's what the internal fuel is around 7,000 now. That's so, correct. So if yep. you clicked empty and then press the button, it would just drop the empty tanks? It would, I believe so. What's the non button for? The none is if you've accidentally clicked something and you want to undo it. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm getting close. <laughs> just pa uh, look in your mirror if you don't have it down. If you, uh... Whoa! Oh, I think I just clipped inside of you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there aren't collisions yet. So, um... Alright, so now... One second, I need to level off and defog my... Acceptable. You, you know the uh, the autopilot system that we've got on the we've got the altitude button on at the minute. Yeah, yeah. I took it. HDG you do. is I'm going manual. Ah, HDG is heading. Is that right? That's correct. Just like a compass. Uh, and nav is navigation. But what's the difference between when would we navigation so, speed? Uh, nav is for waypoints. If you you if you have a waypoint like the ones you had in your training mission, that'll uh, send you directly to that waypoint. Ah, right. Yeah. And speed is just for speed. So, um, on my mark, we're going to turn 180 degrees towards the island because we have strayed uh, quite yep. far. Yep. All right? Yep. Turn, we're going to do a left-hand turn. Yep. All right? Three, two, one, mark. Autopilot disengaged. Autopilot disengaged. Yep, that's normal. It's fine if we lose some altitude. We're at 20,000 feet anyway. Just, let's what? just uh, try and keep it over 10,000. How many G? Should we try to minimize it to before we... Um, usually if you're just out. turning, you shouldn't worry about Gs. Um, but uh, eight continuous Gs will block you out. Right. So what heading, where are we heading to? Just you uh, tell me Actually, when. Um, level off. Level off the turn. I'm going to loosen the spread a little. So you see on your navigation display, you see the button called RTB. Turn to base. Yep. Click it and then... Turn on your navigation autopilot, and I'll just follow you there. It'll give you a waypoint towards the airbase, I believe. Have you done that? Yeah, and it's, it's dropping me altitude. Okay. Uh, if you are if you feel like you're going too low, you can also press altitude, and that'll hold your current altitude. Uh, nice thing is, it doesn't interfere with the nav. So, uh, if yeah, turn on your altitude hold for now. So we're dropping a bit low. Oof, we gained a lot of speed on that dive there. <laughs> cool thing is, um, if you're passing in and out of the sound barrier, you'll see uh, a lot of like smoke behind you. That's called the sonic wash. Got you. Yeah. It 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 looks super cool. You know the center super column nice. now. Hmm? The, the center column, the the panel at the bottom. Uh, yeah. With the aircraft, there's a yellow line on the right-hand side. What is that? Um, what do you mean? The right. center, the center panel. Yeah, the yeah cent right between your legs, above the jettison uh, area. Ah, okay. That is your. Um, that's a horizontal situation indicator. Indicator. Sorry. That's basically just a compass, and it would aid in landings if we're coming oh, in to do a landing, engaged. which we are not. We're gonna fly around. Do a little bit of weapons practice, and then um, and then land. So. so I take it that yellow line is where the navigational point is. Is that right? So you would want to align yourself up with it's that. It's what way? It's what heading you're supposed to go to. Turn on your altitude hold, please. We're dipping pretty low. 
Oh, we've come that far uh, already. 48 <laughs> nautical miles away. Yep. Uh, just if you're used to miles, just normal miles, uh, nautical yeah. mile is 1.15. Yeah. Or a minute of latitude. I have loosened the spread quite a bit. I'm tightening. You can keep the throttle at mill power, so we're just trying to get there. Uh, pretty fast, but not using too much fuel. Uh, actually, we're gonna... Let's check out the info panel. Right above the fuel, if you click on info, that'll actually tell you your range, how much time you have left, and your uh, thrust weight ratio currently. Pretty handy if you're uh, nice. low on fuel one, one, and want to see um, how much more range you've got. And island's just coming into render distance right there. Yeah, so 47 minutes left at this cruising speed. That's correct. You, uh, you ever seen Top Gun? Yeah, of course I have. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and do that uh, upside down over the canopy stunt. Uh, you know the uh, center column uh, with the autopilot section on it? Ah, uh, yes. What's the MFD, BRT, and swap? Okay, so the MFD, BRT just um, changes the brightness of your multifunction displays. And the swap uh. will swap the like displays uh, so if you have like your tgp it. on the right and the nav on the left it'll swap that and up at the top master caution is when it says alert alert you can get rid of that yep that's What's that's correct yeah. alt mode and clr wpt clr wpt is to clear your current navigation waypoint if you press that right now you'll notice that autopilot it'll disengage your nav autopilot uh, and okay. um you don't have a waypoint anymore so um uh, and alt mode just changes it between radar altitude and um, altitude sea level. So if you if you press that, you'll see right next to the current altitude that'll change. And when should we use one over the other? Um, if we're flying low over mountainous terrain, I would suggest using radar altitude. But if we're flying relatively high, trying to stay in coordinated formation, always use ASL because it never changes okay. um, compared to the terrain. Okay. All right. So, now we're going to use some weapons. So, move your TGP over just any area that you'd like to shoot. Yep. And um, you can shoot at anything even if it doesn't say, like, point. Alright? Okay. You've done that, right? Yeah, I've moved the crosshair, yeah. Oh, your mic's scorching out a little. Say again? Uh, yeah, I've moved the crosshair. Okay, good. So, now you turn on your master arm right under your left multifunction display. Roger. And press the circle button, the same button you used um, to dump flares, uh, but on your other controller and while you're holding the stick to change your weapons. All right? Yeah, it's now on GBU-12s. Okay, change it until it's on um, AM AGM-65. AGM-65, Rog, two of them. Optical Copy. FF. Okay. So, uh, slow down, slow down, and um, go behind me. So, I I'll demonstrate real quick, and then we'll, we'll turn around, and you'll try. All right? Actually, you can just turn around right now, because you're pretty far ahead. You ready for me to fire off? Uh, what are you? Just behind you. If you look up right now, you'd see me. You might overshoot a little. Don't don't be afraid to do it. Actually, you know what? I will. I'll turn and form on you. So oh, I see you're right on my you. you're right on my left. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn and uh, turn around because I was getting a little close in, so we can do this more coordinated, so you can see me firing off. What's the minimum speed before this bird starts to drop? Uh, just, I would say anything less than um. Rotate speed, which is 150 knots, you shouldn't. Oh, I'm, doing do, I'm doing around 260. Unless you're landing. I'm doing around 260. Okay, yep. so uh, get your visor down, and um, let's turn heading 192. So you can follow me if you just look behind. 192. If you look behind me, you'll see me turning. Uh, where are you? You can see oh, me yeah, on your yeah, map. Oh, yeah, 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 I can see it, yeah. All right. So just try and look at me. I will call out rifle when I fired. All right, you ready? 
Got a good view? Uh, hang on, I've lost you again. Where are you? Oh, I've seen you. Yeah, I am. I've got you. I've right. got you. I've got you. Yeah. Ready? Yep. And rifle. See the launch? S saw the smoke. Good, good. So that missile is going to um, climb, and then it's going to dive onto the target. Watch for an explosion in the city. What, which target? The one below you now, or the one up below me? It's uh, the city that's literally right ahead of me. Watch for an explosion. All right, yeah, yeah, see. I think it may have already hit. That's how high speed they are. Looking. Yep, it's probably already hit. <laughs> so um, now I'd suggest getting a target in that same city, just uh, locking onto anything, and then move that circle over the crosshair where your targeting pod is, and you'll hear a tone, and then you can go ahead and fire. When you fire, call out rifle. I can't see my, uh, where's my crosshair? I can see it on the little nav computer. Should I be able to see it in the hood as well? Uh, yeah, if you face towards it. It might be lower than you. This is the problem I had last time. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't, all I can see in the hood is, is the circle. Yep, no, 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 no. It's the, uh, it's the cross. If you see it on a nav display, head towards it on the nav display. Like, look at your uh, nav display and turn towards it. And uh, this is where the visor helps, because if you just move your head towards it with the visor, you'll be able to see it independently of the heads-up display. Hang on, let me get around. Yep. Oh, I've, I've got a yellow cross on the nav computer. Okay, yep, yeah, just aim towards that yellow cross on the nav computer. You are dying. Ah, now I, can, now I can see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you can see it, and yep. uh, you can, and then move that circle over it, and uh, just fire whenever. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gonna have to dive here. Yep, yep. Call rifle. out rifle when you're gonna. And pull the trigger. Yep. Missile right. away. Good, good. Good hit. Oh, what just happened? Boom. I think. Yeah. All right. Nice. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ignore what happened on my screen because I think that was a glitch. <laughs> what, on what my happened? screen, you ex. Uh, something exploded right under you on my screen. <laughs> no, that's a glitch. Yeah. Now, um, let's use... Uh, maybe running a little out of time here. So, um, let's switch to Mark 82. Mark 82, yeah. Okay. And now just dive and, and aim the little circle towards where you want it to hit. And call out Pickle when you drop a bomb. Pickle? Right, okay. Pickle. Yep. So th there's no targeting like on this. Pickle. It's just wherever that circle is is where I'm going to drop the bomb. Is that right? Exactly. It's where the bomb's going to go. You might have to dive and lower your speed. Right. If I'll, you're not dying. I'll come around just and drop it on the city then. Good copy. If you want to drop the bomb on the same target, then the marker's still going to be on it. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to dive now. There might be a dotted line that'll help you line up horizontally where it is. Right, I'm diving now. Good, and call out Pickle when you're dropping. Oh, I'm blocking out, hang on. There you go. You're reading, you might be reading out. I'll tell you if you need to pull up. Um, okay, Pickle. Good drop. Over I'm gonna drop as well. Over G. Over G. Pickle pulling off. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> feel cool yet? <laughs> <laughs> Finally fired a weapon. Yeah, awesome. Low G. Yep. Uh, yeah. If you're if you have a low G, the weapon won't release properly, so it'll Got give you a warning for that. Go ahead. I will head towards you, and um, let's use the. Uh, you want to use the gun or the rockets? No. Rockets. Rockets. All right. So switch to Hydra seventy. Hydra seventy. Say you have yeah. 14. Fourteen of them. Yep, yeah. It should. Use. All right. And you can just turn back onto the target and literally just put the circle over where you want them to hit. And the little. And uh, I think it. Oh, hmm? The number little. It's like a number six at the bottom where the vertical altitude is. It looks. Uh, like a big yeah. That's 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 the that's your current vertical speed per minute. Yeah, but what's under that, the what, vertical? To the left of it, it looks like a big six. Is that the release 
thing we were talking about when you can release it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the range. That's the range computer. So yeah. how, do, how do I know what that? Obviously, it's getting longer now. Yep. So if the um, whenever the um, the uh, kind of little carrot, <laughs> yep. I guess you could call it, is um, on the bar, you can go ahead and fire. That means it's in range. Uh, what's your altitude? I'm at uh, twelve thousand now. I'm just gonna drop it. Uh, is this pickle copy. again? Uh, no, it's a rocket, so there isn't really a call out for it actually. Right, I'm gonna fire it now. Get lined Good. up. Good. I'm lagging a bit. Shoot. You got him? Tell me what. Just say I'm firing when you fire. Yeah, I've done it, I've done it. Uh, okay, I saw those beams. That was good. Good hits. Good hits on the top of those buildings. We are Winchester. <laughs> Not quite. Yeah, yeah, Winchester is when you're fully out of munitions. Yeah, we've still got some left, don't we? Yep. Uh, and uh, now you can switch... Yeah, now you can switch to the uh, Vulcan cannon. You, you can choose to do this one. It's basically the same. I would say just fire in the air and listen to the beautiful sound it makes. <laughs> yeah, sounds like an A-10. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I am on your six. Okay, so I've got uh, two GBU-38s and two GBU-12s. Yep, okay. Uh, wait one, I'm going to lock you on radar. You might hear your radar warning receiver freaking out. That's just me uh, seeing where you are. You hear that? Yep. Okay. 26. Yep, that's just... Yep. That's that. Uh, that's because I'm an FA-26. All right. Yeah. So turn around. I'm just gonna have you. I'm gonna turn that off now. Yeah. That's an example of the um, spike tone. That means I'm locking you on. On the uh, right. GBU-12s. Uh, uh, let's do 38s first. Th 38s. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Got ya. GBU-38. Let me make sure I have the right setting for this. Wait one. Because I was messing around with it. Okay, good. All right. Wait one. So, using that same target you have with your targeting pod, yep. you see a button that says GPS dash S. Uh, where? On your targeting pod. GPS. Uh, what on the top of the screen? No, on the uh, on the right side of the screen, near the bottom. What am I looking for again? GPS dash S. GPS. No, I don't see that. On what? the what? On, on oh, the sorry. screen that has your. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Yeah, and it's okay. brought up a yellow. So now you click that. You click pod. that. Yep. You click that. Yep. Yep. Okay, and now you'll see the targeting circles have come up on your uh, heads-up display. Yep. Okay. Yep. And you also see there's a triangle where your target is. Now, if now whenever the um, diamond drops into that uh, center ring, you can uh, drop the bomb. It, you might have already passed over your target. And I'm going to drop pickle. You say the callout is pickle for bombs, rifle for um, air-to-ground missiles, magnum for anti-radiation missiles. We're going to talk about those later. We just need actual targets for those. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right, you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, I can see a diamond out there on the yeah, yeah. on the ocean. Where is it? Where? Okay, it's where's in, the diamond? It's in front of the city. Okay. On the once sea level. Once the diamond, once the diamond um gets uh, inside of that inner circle, you go. You can go ahead and drop. Ah, right. Okay. So I need to line up properly then, do I? Get myself so yep. I can fly in. Once you while you while you get closer, the diamond will go farther down. Got you. Uh, after this one, uh, let's go ahead and land, and I think I'm actually just about out of time here. Uh, so we'll save uh, laser-guided bombs for tomorrow. Yeah, no, no, I, 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 I uh, really do appreciate your, your help and time. Oh, yeah, no is, problem, man, no just, problem. It kind of like in the tutorials, it kind of gets you to the point where you take off and then it ends. It's like, yeah. 
you know, kind of don't understand it half of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right, so this is pickle, is it? Pickle for bombs, yep. Right, I'm coming round. A lot of uh, codes and stuff. <laughs> yeah, for. Uh, oh, I've completely the balls, balls kind of the stupid. angle up here. You will if you're um if you're like if the angle is off you'll see a well actually never but um you can just get lined up and um yeah I'm I'm way off I've completely messed this up the triangle's below my feet triangle is below your feet oh sorry no hang on hang on I'll explain it in a minute there was something there's something okay. else I'm looking at yeah okay um if yeah, you just I, get I, lined I, up you'll yeah, see the diamond suit yeah I've I've messed this up. Okay, but yeah, that's fine. No, the little diamond human on the uh, you know that was that appears under the hood. On I, the hood, yeah. I see that, but I, there's another one on the ocean, a flat, perfect triangle. Ah, okay, that's fine. If it, it's a diamond inside one of the circles. No, actually, on the on the sea floor, on the on the mm. the same level as the sea, there is a green. Uh, triangle. A, gr a green triangle, yeah. Okay, I think that may be a glitch. All you got to do for dropping the uh, weapon. Once the uh, diamond moves into the inner circle, you can go ahead and drop. It's, you know where my my plane is now. Hmm? I'm I'm Sorry. pointing directly at the green diamond. You'll see on the huh. video. You know, when I play it back, I'll send you a link to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder uh, I if, think it, that if might it's be a, a friendly is it a friendly boat or something down there that I can't see. I I think this may be a glitch with the multiplayer. Is it a complete like it's a green triangle, correct? Green triangle, yeah. Okay, yep, that's definitely a glitch. Is it on your... Is it where you want to bomb it? Or not? Mm, no, and it's on my... Um, okay. H uh, on my nav computer HUD? as well. Mm, okay, yep, that's a that's a glitch with the multiplayer mod. Ah, okay. What that triangle is supposed to be is a uh, visual representation of where the... Um, where the uh, GPS coordinates are. So, if I've got this right now... So now if I press RTB... Yep. That'll give you a waypoint for the uh, airstrip. And then on the other panel, if I go comms, ATC, uh, which one yep. is it? And you can is it Atacom? Uh, Akutan. A Akutan, yep. And then landing. Alpha yep, you can request zero. landing. So now, zero, on the s once it's finished, now on the centre column, down at the bottom, I, I can see the, uh, the heading then. So if I line up yep. that yellow I line to be north, that should be my yes. heading. You you can, but I wouldn't suggest using that right now. Um, all you should do right now is um, ask it for landing and um, hold up. Actually, yeah, fly towards the airstrip. I'm gonna try and get information with you. Oh, we're um, way too way too close. We're never gonna make the landing here, are we? Oh yeah, no no no. We're gonna have to turn around, but that's fine. I'm just after burning Where out, so I can get a bit you? further out. Sorry, I'm gonna. I'm I, might have, I might lock you again. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm to your two o'clock. Okay, got yeah. you. There you are. You're a bit high. All right. So I'm gonna unlock so that you don't hear that annoying tone. Okay, I'm gonna form on you, and uh, we're gonna get a nice long approach going. All right. Yeah. Great. And uh, we're gonna drop our speed, so we're gonna be holding just around 400 knots. We're gonna go nice and slow. What now? Start dropping so, speed now. Yeah, yeah. We can we can start dropping early. Um, there's really nothing wrong with going um, with <laughs> not slowing down unless it's to the point where you're below 200 knots. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gonna have to turn um, 180. We're gonna have to turn 180 degrees. Uh, go ahead and do a left-hand turn. Uh, you can go ahead. Well, if you're turning, then s don't try and hold the speed at the same time. That's just too hard. <laughs> now, if I've read the manual right, if I can remember, yep. we want to go to flaps two. Two, correct. Ge gear down at, uh, is it 1,500 feet? Yeah, um, I wouldn't say follow those um, guidelines Ruff, roughly, rigorously, yeah. but I will, I'll tell you when to um, do everything just based on how we're coming in. Also, turn off your master arm so you don't accidentally drop a bomb on the airfield. Ahead of you, yep. Yep. 
All right, so uh, go ahead and level out, or let's turn a little bit more, and then we're gonna level out the turn. We don't want to turn directly towards the airfield. We want to turn so that we can, so that it's on our nine o'clock, and we can turn right in when we're aligned. How do I turn oh, off the, awesome. uh, the the targeting pod? It's still got the uh, the marker on. Yeah, you can go ahead and turn it off. How do you do uh, that? Yeah. You just turn uh, off. You see, PWR. How you, exactly how you turned it off? Uh, on. With your targeting pods. Not the nav computer. You still want that. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm on the uh, which one was it? TGP. Power off. Yep. There we go. Power off. Good. Yeah. All right. Are we turning? Okay. Uh, go ahead and. Uh, stop the turn now. Yep. I'm gonna. I need to get a little tighter on you. I am pretty far. Look, okay, five. I'm five miles out. That's not good. All right. Let's start turning towards the airfield now, and uh, let's keep that speeder on 400 knots. I might not be able to do this one in formation just because I'm a bit far. Now the speed. Do I need to bring down the thrusters? What? How far down? To about halfway or less? I would say bring it idle and start doing an air brake, and once you get close, you can just adjust the throttle uh, to whatever's necessary. Oh, my angle's just way off Just keep it here. around 400 knots. 400 knots, An air yeah. brake, the way you... Do you know how to trigger the air brake? I do, yeah. Okay, good. I'm at 400 knots so, now. go ahead and line right up at the runway. Let's start bringing it down to around 300 and get flaps to and gear down. We're going to put it down early just so we don't forget. I'm way off angle here. That's a learning process. Yep. Where are you? I'm ah, coming. you're fine. All right. So, um. 300. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna let's slow down a bit. Um, so that and remember what I said about the velocity vector, which is the circle with the three lines. Yep. Yep. You gotta put it where you wanna touch down. That'll help a lot. So not the circle, the W. No, no, the circle, the circle. The circle, right, yeah, 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 I'm coming in now. I'm at attack and angle. And from here, three. I would say slow down, try, start slowing down until that A says 8. That angle oh, of attack is 8. It's at 4 at the minute. Yep, you've got a lot to slow down. You might be coming in a little fast on this landing, yep. <laughs> oh, I'm way too high. That's fine, just just uh, touch her down. There's nothing wrong with waving off if you can't get it on the first step. Alright, tell me if you've touched down. I touched down. Good, good. Start braking and uh, get off the runway. Actually, uh, just get in an angle so you can watch my landing, I guess. Welcome back. Follow the taxi paths to your parking area. I'm starting to lag a lot, of course, right when I'm doing the landing. A right, bit I'm going to turn, turn it so I can see you. Yep, yep. Coming in pretty good right now. Now, it may look like I'm flying forward, but I'm actually going down, about seven degrees down. That's uh, that's a perfect example of the high angle of attack. Alright. Look at this, look at the way he's coming in. Women, money, fast cars. Look at this lad. There's no stopping him. <laughs> butter landing. Watch that. <laughs> butter. Absolutely. It's hard to see because I'm right at the far end of the runway, but I'm sure on the oh, yeah. video it'll look a lot clearer. Stopped in at, le at, at absolutely no time right there. Here comes Iceman. <laughs> you know, um, contrary to like uh, Top Gun and all these movies, uh, call signs aren't actually the... Uh, Cool stuff. It's it's just the dumb stuff you do when in trading. Oh god, I can't grip my throat. <laughs> All right, so um, let's go ahead and turn her off and end this flight. You can go into any hangar you'd like. Yeah, multiplayer is just absolute. Just how um, insane in this game. How long is the actual? Uh, how big is the, is the world? You know, as in, how long can you go off and do a mission? Um, I don't know exactly, but they they can get pretty big. 
I think tomorrow we will practice a bit more with the GPS guided bombs because those were. A little, well, I'm going to have been a glitch Now you've taught me a few things. I'm going to. Um, yeah. I'm going to have a practice tonight. I think. Yep. And uh, also tomorrow we'll do those laser guided bombs. We're going to practice a bit of air to air, and we'll also do carrier operations. Super cool in this plane. All right, so uh, let's turn right and uh, get lined up with the hangar so we can get in. You'll, one. you'll uh, you're gonna you'll... take off from the tunnel. Oh, I thought that was a hangar. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tunnel. That's a tunnel to oh, the other side of the <laughs> Ruined the professional video right at the end by piling it into uh, the tunnel. Fine, can fine. you go through to the tunnel? Or is it just visual? You can. No, you can go through it. I've done. I've done tunnel runs where I go past Mach one through that. And if you look behind you, there's actually a second. one. All right, and uh, shutdown procedures pretty uh, simple in this aircraft. You going in you, this one? You really don't need to oh, do them unless you want immersion, but I guess we're going for immersion. <laughs> yeah, I'll go in this one as well. All right, uh, you go in the. Oh, you want to go in this one as? You might have scraped your wing on something. Oh no, that was me. Ha! <laughs> 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 I totally just cut off my wing. <laughs> Profesh we are trained <laughs> professionals. Right, Wings up. Get your up. brake lock on. Yeah, uh, on, yeah. No, not necessarily. Uh, you can keep your wings down. Oh, only if you're on the carrier. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, you can get your HUD off. Uh, and let's turn off all of our uh, systems panels. here. Yeah. And make sure your flaps are at zero. And uh, get all the lights off. And uh, now we can start turning off the engines. There's uh, there's actually something else I was going to ask you. On the left-hand yeah. panel, you know when we uh, jettisoned the empty tanks? Yep, correct. Over to the left, near the MP3 stream, there's a fuel dump. What's... Yeah, you can just dump fuel with that. It's, uh, yeah, that's... It'll um, it won't dump all of your fuel, but it'll um, dump it'll dump your internal fuel at a pretty smooth rate. Uh, I know we've got a mirror on the cockpit that you can you can flip up or we down do. above us. What are yeah. the two little boxes to each side of it? Oh, those are the chute lights I was talking about. Um, you may not have noticed them because you weren't looking at them, but whenever you were um in range to shoot, um, with the uh with the AGM sixty five the missile, um, in that that uh, tone went, those lights turned on. Ah, no, I never noticed. Yep. Alright, and something I just like to do in this game after I've done a flight, just put the canopy up and just watch. <laughs> you know? Uh, I think that's everything off. <sighs> battery's off. Uh, so the, it looks like yeah. the console's still lit up, but it can't because the battery's off. Right. Uh, sadly, the uh, canopies aren't synced, so even if we have our canopies up, they, they're still uh, on screen. It's still awesome, though. Well, that's been absolutely yeah. brilliant. I can't thank you enough. Uh, oh, yeah. I think no I've problem, learned yeah. more in the last 20 minutes than I have done in the last week. <laughs> no, it's my pleasure, man. Um, I've got two more questions if I can ask before you go. Yeah, go ahead. Center, center console... Mm -hmm. VSI, is that vertical speed indicator of That's whether we're vertical going? That's vertical exactly. You got it exactly right. Times there. 100. And yep, and it's in feet per minute. So if it's at, yeah. Um, and below that is alt, altitude. That's an AP alt. Um, if you have your autopilot on, you can actually change, you can actually move this um, knob, and that'll change the altitude that your autopilot is going to go. It's not just an ah, altitude hold, you can okay. actually change that. And, and it's the same with the speed knob right by your speed indicator in the top um, yeah. left of the center console. And underneath that, we've got that'll be heading set and course set. So we can, even though that's aligned, say we go RTB and the yellow line, so we know where to go, we can adjust that, can we, with the heading and the uh, course, course set? The course set is a different thing. It's a bit more complicated, and there's a section on the manual that uh, can explain it better than I can right now. Yeah, um, okay. But it's basically for lining up for a turn when you're coming into lands. Right, uh, and last question an do that. Yeah. is... Uh, I won't ask you about the flight assist, yaw and pitch, and all that. I'll, I'll worry about that another day. The CMS, yeah. flare and chaff. Ah, uh, okay. On and so, off. But how do you swap yeah. between flare and chaffs? 
So, usually when you drop them, you drop both. But if you turn one off, like if you turn off flares, you'll only be dropping chaff. And if you turn uh, off okay. chaff, you'll only be dropping He does them both at the same time. Got you. Yep, that's correct. And okay. that's usually only if you want to save up on one or the other. Because if you're in a close-range dogfight, uh, flares can go s scaringly fast. Uh, G limit... Presume so, limits the aircraft so that you can't over G. Is that right? Um, you still can over G, but it'll try and limit the G to about eight. So right around the mark where you start blacking out, you can. It's still possible to black out, but it'll help with not doing sudden janky movements. I know I keep saying last question, but I've got one more. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> um, the fuel port open and close. Yeah. That's for air refueling. Actually, if you open it, I might you might be able to do this. Yeah, you can do this without battery. If you open it and then like stand up in your chair, you'll see on the nose of your plane there's a little port that's opened up. That's for air aerial refueling. That's where the boom sticks in to um get the fuel. Ah, in the yeah, got you, got you. Right. Yep, and you can close it back up. Oh, we'll worry about that another day. Yeah, yeah. yeah aerial refueling is a <laughs> pretty pretty complex topic. Yeah. Well, that's All been right. absolutely brilliant. I can't thank you enough. Yeah, yeah. No, and, no problem. Um, My pleasure. Man. What I'll do is, once I've got this video up, it'll probably be the end of the week now, because I've just put one up. Uh, I'll send you a link yep. to it. Yeah, that'll be great. And you can uh, critique me <laughs> the next, <laughs> uh, next time we meet. But, uh, yeah, uh, if you've got any more training stuff coming up, even if there's you know three or four more people, I I'd love to be... Uh, Love you to, yeah. to mentor uh, some more. Just, just this week weekend, we're doing a massive Buster Cluck um, formation flight <laughs> with oh, like yeah. 17 people. So.